What if I told you one of the brightest stars in our sky is teetering on the edge of a spectacular death? Yes, you heard it right, we're talking about Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star that's part of the famous Orion constellation. You see, Betelgeuse isn't just any ordinary star. It's one of the largest and most luminous stars visible to the naked eye. To give you some perspective, if Betelgeuse were placed at the center of our solar system, its surface would extend beyond the asteroid belt, possibly reaching as far as Jupiter. That's how massive this celestial object is. It's around 700 times bigger than our Sun and about 14,000 times more luminous. Imagine that. But what makes Betelgeuse truly unique is its variable brightness. This star doesn't shine with a steady light. Instead, its brightness changes over time, varying from the 7th to the 10th brightest star in the night sky. This is due to a process known as stellar pulsation, where the star expands and contracts, causing the brightness to fluctuate. But here's the kicker, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. Yes, this colossal star is on the brink of death, but don't be sad, in the cosmos death is not an end, but a transition to a new form. And for stars like Betelgeuse, this transition is nothing short of spectacular. You see, stars of this size don't just fade away, they explode in a brilliant display of cosmic fireworks known as a supernova. That's right, Betelgeuse is expected to go supernova any day now. And when it does, it will be so bright that it will be visible in broad daylight, outshining every other star in the sky for a few weeks or even months. Imagine a star so massive, so bright, and yet so close to its dramatic demise. But remember, this is not a tragic end. It's a glorious transformation, a testament to the beauty and wonder of our universe. So keep looking up, you never know what celestial spectacle awaits. But how does a star like Betelgeuse come to be and what leads to its impending doom? Well, to understand this, let's take a journey through the life of a star. Stars begin their lives as clouds of dust and gas known as nebulae. Over time, the immense gravitational pull of these clouds causes them to collapse in on themselves, forming a hot core. This is the birth of a star, and it's the stage at which our Betelgeuse began its life billions of years ago. As the core heats up, nuclear fusion begins. Hydrogen atoms fuse together to form helium, and this process releases vast amounts of energy, causing the star to shine brightly. This is the main sequence stage of a star's life, and it's where our sun is right now. But Betelgeuse being more massive than our sun burns through its hydrogen at a faster rate. When the hydrogen fuel in the core is exhausted, the star begins to contract under its own gravity. This increases the temperature and pressure in the core, igniting a new round of nuclear fusion where helium atoms fuse to create carbon. The energy produced in this process causes the outer layers of the star to expand dramatically, and the star becomes a red supergiant. Betelgeuse, in its death throes, has expanded and cooled, turning into the red giant we see today. Its fiery end is not too far off, but before that, it will continue to shine brightly in the night sky, a beacon of the fascinating and mysterious life cycle of stars. So what happens when a star like Betelgeuse finally meets its end? Imagine, if you will, a cosmic event of such monumental proportions it's hard to grasp. This is the final act in the life of a star, the supernova event. It is a breathtaking spectacle a cataclysmic explosion that marks the end of a star's life cycle. When Betelgeuse exhausts its nuclear fuel, its core will collapse under the force of gravity. In less than a second, the star will rebound in a shockwave, causing the outer layers to explode out into space. This is the supernova event, the final curtain call for a star. The energy produced during a supernova is immense. It's as if the star, in its dying moments, wants to outshine everything else in the universe. For a brief period, a single supernova can emit as much energy as an entire galaxy. That's billions upon billions of stars all at once. And the light, oh, the light, it's not just a visual spectacle, but a cosmic fireworks display across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. From radio waves to gamma rays, a supernova is a celestial lighthouse its beacon seen across vast cosmic distances. Now, what would this mean for us here on Earth? Well, despite being over 600 light years away, the explosion of Betelgeuse would be visible to the naked eye. For a few weeks, it would shine in our sky brighter than a full moon, visible even during the day. A reminder of the star's grand finale, its light would be a testament to the immense scale and energy of a supernova event. This event, while destructive, is also a birthplace of sorts. 
The elements produced during the supernova scattered across the cosmos become the raw material for new stars, new planets, even life itself. In this way, the death of a star like Betelgeuse is also the beginning of new cosmic possibilities. When Betelgeuse finally explodes, it will be a spectacle like no other, outshining even the moon for a few weeks. Life, death, rebirth, the cosmic dance continues with Betelgeuse set to take its final bow in the most spectacular fashion imaginable. But what happens after the fireworks? What legacy does a star like Betelgeuse leave behind? Well, the aftermath of a supernova is nothing short of a cosmic spectacle. Betelgeuse in its death throes will create and disperse an array of elements across the universe. You see, during the explosion, the extreme temperatures and pressures trigger nuclear reactions that generate elements heavier than iron. Everything from silver to gold, uranium to plutonium, the bling in your ring, the fuel in your nuclear power plant, all born in the fiery crucible of a supernova. But that's not all. The heart of the former star, now bereft of fuel, collapses under its own gravity. If the core is between about one and three times the mass of our sun, it becomes a neutron star, an ultra-dense object about 20 kilometers across, yet containing more mass than our entire sun. If the core is even more massive, it collapses into a singularity, a point of infinite density we call a black hole. So the death of a star like Betelgeuse is not an end but a transformation. It seeds the universe with the raw materials for new stars, new planets, and even life itself. And it leaves behind some of the most enigmatic objects in the cosmos, neutron stars and black holes. In its death, Betelgeuse will bring life, contributing to the cosmic cycle of birth and death. So, what have we learned about our intriguing neighbor Betelgeuse? We've unraveled that it's a red supergiant teetering on the edge of a dramatic end. This celestial body is primed for a supernova explosion, a cosmic event that will outshine a galaxy. Yet even after its demise, Betelgeuse will leave a rich legacy, its elements seeding future stars and planets. Betelgeuse, a beacon in our night sky, is a testament to the grandeur and fleeting nature of the cosmos.